Hey everybody, Art House 21 here, and I think I've mentioned this to you guys before, but I have myself a set of GRP tires here, and this lime green color that they come with just isn't working for me. So what I decided to do is get some of this Duplicolor vinyl and fabric paint, or vinyl and fabric coating as they call it, and see how that works. So this is supposed to be specially formulated to bond with all sorts of plastic materials. So, as you see, I taped off the GRP so that I protect the rubber traction surface. And I've gone through and I've done a light mist coat of the wheels with this material. So, and that's proper painting technique. You want to get a light mist coat, get that tacky so that uh, the paint has something to adhere to and that you uh, don't have runs. So now, um, in a couple minutes, I'm going to go back and I'm going to uh, go ahead and put on a little bit of a thicker coat to try to get some good color down. So far, it's, I mean, even right now, I think it looks better than just the loud lime green. But I, I'm not sure how much coverage I'm going to get just because that was so loud and the paint seems to be fairly thin so far. But we'll see. All right. Okay, guys. So I've got a nice tacky finish on it now. So I'm just going to go ahead and put down a little bit thicker uh, color coat. So I'll let you guys watch in real time. Now this is kind of tough just because you've got the inside surfaces of the spokes here. You want to get it covered, but you don't want to get too much paint so that it pulls up and um, you know and then runs. So just take it, be patient. Take a little bit at a time. As you see, so I'm already getting a little bit of pooling going on here. So you just gotta try to get your coverage, try to get angles, but don't try to force it. You just gotta go inch by inch. Okay guys, so I applied a couple more coats and you see the color is starting to come in a little bit deeper here. Now I can see already that's gonna be a little, little bit of a challenge getting down in there inside of the spokes, but already it's, it's a world of improvement over where it was before. So, all right, let's just keep working at it piece at a time. All right guys, I laid down a couple more color coats and this is looking really good now. So as you can see, you know, pretty much all the green color I know it's supposed to be yellow, I'll keep calling it green. But most of the color is gone now, and you just have a nice silver finish. So, I've been putting these coats on pretty thin. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple more uh, light color coats just to make sure that we have good coverage. And then I'm going to call it a day. It's looking pretty good. Alright guys, so here we are after painting. And, you know, I could have gone over a couple more coats to try to get it perfect. But, we all know what, ha we all know what happens on speed bumps. So these are not going to be perfect for very long. And you see, I've got some cleanup to do. I just, un I just uh, took off the masking. So they, um, I have to go by and uh, do a little cleanup, take off this overspray, and that's no big deal. You know, I could probably use a scuffing pad or maybe even an X-Acto knife, but you know, just something to take, uh, knock that down a little bit. I could probably even go back with like a fingernail uh, polish, like acetone, fingernail polish remover, I should say. Um, but you know, it's really not that crucial. You know, so the big thing is, you know, they're not quite as loud, and that's really what I was going for. And actually, I think the product is pretty nice. And you see, like on this one right here, I have a little, that's where the masking locked a little bit. And I could probably go back and just use, um, I have a silver paint marker, so just do a little touch up on a couple little places like that. Um, but all in all, you know, if I can get this stuff to roll, you know, I think the product came out really nice. I'm so this stuff, it looks like it's held. Now, of course, it needs to dry. Um, but, you know, one thing to keep in mind, if you do decide to do something like this, paint has mass. So by painting these wheels, you've now screwed up the balance. So you have to go back and you have to balance these guys. So don't try to use painted wheels without balancing them. You'll cause vibration and that could cause issues on the road. So, and you've seen my uh, balancing video, so it don't only takes a few minutes to balance tires. So uh, that's a pretty simple process. But like I said, all in all, I'm pretty happy with the overall result. It, this, they're not perfect yet. I've got a little bit of cleanup work and uh, you know, get the last little details. 
but you know for a few minutes on a nice lovely afternoon it's not a bad process and uh, I think this stuff was like seven dollars a can so it's not cheap and you know you use a lot of it because that yellow green is really really loud so it shines through if I was thinking about it I might have I might have primed but I don't think that um, I think there are, there is plastic primer out there too but I mean this is uh, the whole point of this process of this product is that you don't have to prime it bonds the plastic just out of the can so you know, like I said it seems to work well so I'll let you know after I do some runs on these tires how they hold up but I mean just from an overall cosmetic point of view okay everybody so here is the finished result now these aren't perfect but I say they're not too bad so you can see here the, the paint slash coating whatever you want to call it actually had pretty decent coverage and I went through and I uh, just clean off the excess for the outside. I didn't bother to do it for the inside surface because no one's gonna be looking at that anyway. But like I said, overall, it's looking pretty good. There's a couple little little blemishes and everything that I need to take care of with the, with a the silver paint marker. But it, I think it looks really good. So I'll splice in a little shot for the closing credit to show the wheels on Dizzy so you see what they look like. But all in all, I say that's not bad for uh, a little bit of work and Nathan is enjoying them too. All right, everybody, our hospital one signing off. Remember the, the mantra, fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, and do it all over again. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to check them out on Facebook and Instagram and any other social media that you want to find me on. All right, guys, peace.